another episode of 100 Proof Geek, a weekly show where two guys and two geeks discuss three random topics. Of course, for me, we have Victor Miranda. How you doing, guys? Welcome to another episode. You can follow me at Twitter, Instagram, and PSN is Rican183, R-I-C-A-N-183. And to his left, we have Jose Jimenez. Stay safe, Gardens. You can follow me on PSN and Twitter at MostHated underscore Hove. That's M-O-S-T-H-A-T-E-D <laughs> underscore H-O-V. Lately. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. To his left, David Tantoja. Excelsior. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram because it's really the only social media I, I use. Uh, that's going to be Pixel Dave, P I X E L underscore Dave, D A V E. The funny part is, is that we recorded this twice, I think, at this point. And he <clears> still <throat> wants to be insured as Stanley going forward. So I will address that in the next episode. Heck yeah, Stanley. I am uh, Jason86. That's J A Y S O N 86. Very simple on Instagram and Twitter. And we're going to get the show started by discussing modular phones this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, modular phones is a, is a new thing that's being worked on by a couple of companies. Um, Google currently has the Project R device. Uh, ZTE has the Mobius device. And there is, uh, I, guess, I don't know if it's the company, but Phone Blocks, phone blocks. Is, the, <clears throat> excuse me, is the other company that's working on these modular phones. Um, and overall, it's, it's just pretty much you pick and combine the pieces that you want the most. Uh, you want a super awesome camera and <laughs> lots of memory. Well, you buy those components, you put it into your phone, and now you have a phone with awesome camera and memory. Yeah, but how much... Um how many like modules are they actually starting off with? Are they starting off with a bunch of different modules for each one? Like you can get this camera, you can get that camera, you can get this battery or that battery. So <clears> something, to, <throat> something to kind of consider is, um, from what I've seen, and, and I think this is what's going to really kind of shape the market, if you will, is that Aura has their own setup where it looks like uh, sliding components, and each component is a rectangle or you know a large square or whatever the case would be. Um, ZTE follows very similar in that fashion where it's, uh, the components are sized specifically. <coughs> and then phone blocks, from what I've seen, seems to be the one that might be really pushing the boundaries on modular phones where it's pretty much a grid, if you will. And then you just plug in the pieces as they fit into that grid. Um, which theoretically speaking, I guess would connect to the motherboard. What pretty much powers the phone. Right. And so, um, I don't, I mean, it doesn't seem, at least with phone blocks, it doesn't seem like there's any specific combination you can make Pretty much fit. do whatever you want. I, I guess, I, I mean, I would assume as long as it fits in, in the holes. You know, I, I think I think the tech is just really early. <clears throat> I was reading an article on it, actually, about how the battery is just terrible. It's got like, I don't even think it has a full day battery. I don't remember the exact amount of time, but it said that uh, the battery doesn't even run the full day. The battery is like... Maybe half a day before you have to switch it out again, yeah. because it it uses like twenty percent of the battery to actually keep all the other pieces in place. Because it's like an electromagnetic uh, pulse that the phone uses to keep all the other pieces locked in place. At least this is for the. I think you meant to say magic. <laughs> magic, yeah. magic. Yeah. I'm, like I'm the excited. Wi-Fi. <clears throat> like Wi-Fi. Yeah, but I'm excited for it. You know, because it's usually I I don't get excited for new things like whatever. <laughs> but for this, I'm actually excited because you know I'm that tech. Techie when it comes to the phones, I like having more of one. Um, I like having more memory. I like you know being able to you know like instead of upgrading my whole phone, I should upgrade one part. Right. So, so as for a that, t- I'm excited. The battery, I'm pretty sure they'll adapt and they'll figure it out. Right. I'm sure they will. But as a techie, I mean that's great. Yeah, it's it's awesome to to play around with as a techie. But what's the appeal to your mass your mass audience? I mean, I don't understand. Well, I don't see this being big for the same concept. Because you know, if you if you're into music, you could put two speakers on there or three or whatever and make a very loud phone well, instead of most carrying a, phone. A, a, a Beats pill or anything like that. You have that on your phone. So if you're not techie, you should build around how you want it. So at the same time, if you like loud speakers, you could just get an M8. Oh, I have an M8. Yeah, but <clears throat> what if what if the speakers you, now you can add more speakers the way you want it to, and it can sound even louder than the M8. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they're going to have third party I could, speakers. I could or... definitely see a lot of my customer base wanting three speakers. Just so they can walk down the block and listen to it. And be heard. Yes. <laughs> and be heard. I don't doubt it for a second, actually. You Not know, but, but listening to music drains your, your, your power. And this goes back to the first thing with the battery. <clears throat> and I know it's, it's going to be like the first, probably a problem that they're going to have with just the first iteration to probably, you know, improve it later. But isn't the first iteration like the most important because that really sets the standard for what everybody's uh, going to expect? I'm sorry. 
I'm going to have to interject here because I don't think the first iteration necessarily matters per se. Um, the first iteration, let's not just kind of get out of space a little bit. The first iteration of Connect wasn't the best thing in the world. And then now there's the new Connect for the Xbox One. Same thing with, you know, like the iPhone. Nobody and people knew. still don't use Connect. That's not true. Uh, in addition you don't to even that, use your Xbox One, period. That's not true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's um, true. No, but you know, like even like the first iPhone, nobody really knew what to expect from it, and this is before the real Apple hype. To be honest, I mean, for a while Apple had their computers and the iPods as the biggest thing, but nobody knew what to expect out of a phone, you know, from Apple. So I don't think the first iteration necessarily has to be this amazing thing. I think it just needs to work. Right? No, but you're talking about the first, the first smartphone from Apple. People didn't know what to expect. That's different than we've already had smartphones for a number of years now, and we already know what to expect from a smartphone. And then you get one, and the battery doesn't even last you a full day. There are already complaints about, you know, the note not lasting long enough oh, for right. people's expectations or whatever. <clears throat> we live in a world where power, power banks are a real thing. I saw this one. I saw this one power bank the other day. It looked like a hard drive. Uh, it has like four or five ports on it, and you can literally plug four or five devices, and each device would get a full charge. Right, but you're talking about ways to fix and a brand new phone that just came out. Like, oh, well, we could use a power bank. You I'm just a, said the no phone. Like, things come out all the time that don't work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, all the time. That's If, if some stuff would be released and come out that doesn't work, it would never it would never be replaced. Like, it would never be fixed and never get... We wouldn't, wouldn't have any technology. It has to fail on some level in order for them to make it better. Otherwise, we right, have but, no progression. But what I'm saying I'm is that... I'm putting that, brother. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is that the first iteration doesn't wow people. And what what is there about this about this phone to really Dude, wow let, anyone? Let's take it back to gaming. Let's take it back to gaming. We we had Atari graphics. Those graphics of somebody who didn't originally play them look horrible compared to what we have now. Okay. But we had to have a starting point. <clears throat> it had to start someplace so that we could you progress to where we are now. Yeah, Atari I know. But what I'm saying is, point. we had to come from somewhere to get to where we are now. Chicken so or the it, egg. it had to look like garbage at some point. Chicken or the egg. <laughs> Chicken or the egg. The egg, okay, chicken. Right, but but what you're not understanding is the Atari and, and and video games started out as computers, and people were impressed enough to go further with that. Is what I'm saying. Exactly. And, and, and so you're you're making a point against <clears throat> yourself right now. I'm not making so a point it, against it, myself. I'm it, saying it that wasn't people, as good as it could. I'm be. I'm saying that people were impressed games. enough with it to make it to make it more than what it was. And the Atari and video gaming as a whole almost completely failed because it wasn't popular enough. Okay, but now it's, it's successful. So right, it, because then you had the Nintendo and, failed, because and then, then you had Nintendo and, and Nintendo set the standards for what you expect a video game to be and how it should be played. So one and of how these three, would be. one of these three, maybe four <clears throat> what I'm companies saying, who are, are trying out this idea could possibly turn it into something right, if they don't give it up on it. Right, possibly. Just but like what Nintendo I'm saying, did for I'm just looking at the specs industry. and what they're offering right now, and it just doesn't look that impressive compared to what's already out in the I field. I think what it boils down to <clears throat> is the way they position it. Um, you know, Hey, here's this entry level product. You can get it for X dollars, and it'll come with this kit, right? And then you say, but while you're at the store, check out some of the other components we have. Now, I don't know if you all have ever seen this, but there there are um, little remote control cars that you can find like Radio Shack and whatnot, where it's like I think it's, they're called X mods. And so you get like the car, and it comes with like a, a frame, you know, or a body kit, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be technical, <clears throat> and and that's how you get started. But then you can add lights, you can add super engines, you can add a different body kit, the whole nine. And that goes to the whole point of why, you know, modular phones could be such a big thing. I don't, personally, I don't necessarily care what my phone looks like in comparison to the next guy. I wanted to do X, Y, Z, this, that, and the other thing. But once that starts, you know, once the next iteration becomes available, I don't have to spend, you know, $300, $200, $400 on phones Whatever you know, whatever the deals are, especially now with everything leasing, which I can't stand. You know, I want to spend that money on phones, but I can just swap out the component. Exactly. You know, you want a better processor? Well, and and, and you know, so one of the videos I had seen, they <laughs> said that you know, imagine um, Nvidia and Integra making these different processors for the devices. So you would get the the standard right to start off with, and then you know, potentially Nvidia could make another processor in which you would find you know strong capabilities. And then from there, you just swap out the piece. Yeah, the possibilities are endless with it. I think that you could do more. Pretty much Steve Jobs allowed everybody to have a portable computer in their pocket. Wait, did he just give credit to Apple? Yes. <laughs> Was that the last great invention? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you the know. The Apple hater over here. But he, pre- he pretty made it. He made it for everybody to have a computer in their hands at all times. Yeah. And 
I think that this could take it probably to the next level, to another level. If you want to play an actual real game, like a real computer game, there are plenty of real games that you play on. Yeah, your there is, but for the most part, every time I try, every time I handheld. try playing on my handheld, you get some type of lag. So if you have a, a higher processor, more ROM, hey, right. it might work smooth. I mean, I think that's like a, the Nvidia Shield. I don't know if you guys have seen this as well. So the Nvidia Shield pretty much is a controller, Android operating system, tablet combination, and it runs on a higher processor, so you can get better. You know, smoother gameplays and things like that for these mobile uh, games. <clears throat> you know, the other thing that you know they're discussing with these modular devices, uh, modular phones, if you will, is the fact that now that three D printing is becoming more and more prevalent in today's society, having the ability to three D print these components, which would make it much cheaper and therefore make modular phones the way you know the way of the future. Eventually, they they wanted to release 3D printing with the phones, but it's too expensive and not possible right now. So that's a, another eventual thing that they might do with the phones. Right, what we're but, looking at right now with the phones, though, is not impressive enough. Like, as a tech model, it's all awesome. Right, but all right, so right, for a mass, let me, let me mass appeal, table. does it intrigue you? Yes or no? Of course. How about you, Dave? Of course. How are you, host? Personally, yes. Yeah. So it's like, go back to another point. Would you build your own computer? Yeah. Why not build your own phone? Because it's not the same. Uh, I'm not it's, argue, it's not I'm the same. Not the same. How is it not the same? Because in on, look, I'm talking about early adapters. It's not the same. You're gonna How get not the same. You're gonna get one set of what you can use. No, that's mm-hmm. uh, no. <clears throat> First off, they're already saying that there's potential for super high end processors, really nice HD screens. Potential. Oh, okay. And computers were a potential when the computers first came out. I just don't see it being. I, I see it being a fad. That's all I'm saying. Computers I think it'd be whole computer. I think room. it's gonna. I, I think it's gonna be there, great there to play with. There a whole bunch of people just with the same idea. I think computers are gonna be a fad, and look where that has taken. That is a very good point. Yeah, but we didn't have computers out already, and they're like, "Oh, we came up with a new way to work computers." Somebody has. This to is. Start we already have bro. smartphones. They're just trying to trying to make smartphones a little different by making them modular, and I don't think that's gonna be but a dude, big enough deal. It's kind of this. If you if you drop your phone, your screen breaks. What you have to do? You have to replace the whole phone, correct? Unless okay. you pay like about one hundred and ninety dollars to get a right. screen repair. Well, at that point, you can just get one from the insurance company. Just like yeah, that. like that. But how about you know? I don't know the prices yet. That might be a right, right. make it or break it deal for me. Right. Depending on the prices of these parts, what's to say that I can just take out the screen out of my phone, buy a new screen, put it on, or if my camera breaks, like on my G three, my camera cracked. Right. I can just swap out the camera. And so, and, and that's actually a really great kind of thing to think about as well as. Uh, I can't afford the high-end camera right now. Instead of instead of having to buy a whole new phone, I bloop, I put in a fifty-dollar camera, uh, camera screen, whatever the case may be. You know, again, you know, it's always subject to change as far as how much things end up costing at the end of the day. Whatever. Right, and that's the other thing we don't know what things are going to cost. Yeah, but if we're worried about every what everything costs at the end of the day, we would never have anything. No, right? that's ridiculous. Because if you're going to end up spending more on the more in these little modules than you do on an entire phone. There's I mean, people spending $6,000 If I worked with one phones. PlayStation 4 cost, I wouldn't have a PlayStation 4. Have you seen the Lamborghini phone that they had? $6,000 yes. for the phone? You it's got real leather. Wow. <laughs> okay, but what I'm saying, again, you guys are kind of missing the, 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 the point, is that, yeah, a few people are going to spend that money because they're crazy and they're like tech geeks and whatever. So how's it? But, like, like mass appeal, you, yeah, what you don't understand is, is that for someone to become big and for them to make second generation, third generation, fourth generation, for them to make third-party developers who are going to create more hardware for this, for this to become a big deal so that people start doing more with it, people actually have to be drawn into buy it. So where, where's the mass market appeal? How, okay. I got you right here. I got you right here. So uh, the, the people who are geeky or, or more on the techie side are going to do their own research on the product, find out that they can change and shape the insides of the phone to fit what they want it to do. But on the mass appeal side, all the company has to do is market it as a fully customizable phone. Forget about, don't stress the facts that, you know, you could build more ROM here, more memory here, a better camera has this much megapixels. Don't stress the number aspect of it and the tech aspect of it. Just say, listen, you can customize your phone. You and your cousin, your brother, your mother, your sister can have the same phone from the same company, but it's your phone. You don't have to put a different case on it. You don't have to, you know, put some fancy stickers on the back. You don't have to right. change the back on the wallpaper to make it your own. You can literally customize everything to make it your phone. 
You have that's that's all you have to do. Hello Kitty in the back of your phone. I mean, this is the way to Just make Hello Kitty on special. his phone. <laughs> oh, I definitely want Hello Kitty back. <laughs> but here's my. Here, I want to kind of go back to something that Victor though said. Uh, why wouldn't you build your phone? You, I mean, you went through the process of putting together, theoretically speaking, the components for your computer that you have. You, why wouldn't you do it with your phone? And I'm not saying I'm not saying I wouldn't do it in like three years when we have when we actually have a lot of third party developers for hardware to go onto a phone. Right now, you got three possible for developers for three different modular phones. Everything's going to be proprietary, so you know nothing's going to mix and match. And we have no third party hardware for any of this stuff, which means you're only going to be getting what's coming directly from that company for their phone. And they're not going to have four or five or three or four different cameras or, you know, what more than a few numbers. Though? Not in the beginning, which I means for like that. a full year or two for the first generation, you're getting just the, the bland, basic model. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be a bust. I don't think this is going to be a bust. I know you're not just for the screen. simple fact that Google's behind it. That doesn't mean anything. Google's going to run the world Google's, at one point. Google's, Watch. Oh, yeah. Google's had a lot, of flop, a lot of flops, too. I mean... But they had the money to support those flops. And this is that, though. My whole thing is that I don't understand why there would be one manufacturer, only a couple... Maybe, I mean, whatever you were saying, like only a couple at most to put out components. I'm not saying at most, but in the beginning... You have but you have phone blocks is what it's called. Here's my thing. You have blocks. Google and you have uh, ZTE. Yes. that's the three developers. It's all going to be proprietary to First their. First off, to their the developers phone. don't manufacture the components for the phone. To understand that going forward, okay, that means and that Nintendo there's a doesn't possibility. And Nintendo doesn't develop all all of its its, its systems, but it, everything that goes to its system is proprietary. Okay, and. That's not true. Yeah. They use components from everything. Okay. But what I'm saying is, is that you can't, they, they have it, they put up proprietary software so you can't use it with other systems. And that's what they're going to do with these phones. They're going to make uh, the hardware proprietary. And then what? I, I don't right, agree. Right. I feel they're like proprietary I, per, per phone. I'm sorry, sir. It, it's proprietary per phone. Fine. But Sony makes parts for Samsung, for, for Apple. Samsung makes parts for Apple. I mean, all these different companies make components from one another. Um, you know, Kyocera is one of the largest ceramics manufacturers in the world. They make components for almost everything that you interact with on a regular basis. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I don't see why you would have to, why only Google would have stuff and, you know, why only ZTE and Foamlock where you can just like, oh, hey, Sony, make these components for us. Sony don't care. They don't get money no matter what. I'm not saying that they can't get another company to build for them. What I'm saying is, is that Whatever they build for Google is going to be just for Google. Whatever they build for phone blocks is going to be just for phone blocks. So, yeah, you might have Sony building a hard drive that will be used in both phones, but it's going to be proprietary. So you can't switch out, oh, you can just go and buy a Sony hard drive and just put it in. It's going to be Sony hard drive for Google or Sony hard drive okay, for yeah, that, I mean, that's to be expected. phone blocks. Yeah, that's fine, though, because if you have the original Cause phone block part. model, GTE model, or Google model, model. I don't need something that ZTE, ZTE has right. or if I make Google. So I want the one that works with my phone. Right. What you're going to get, though, is what I'm, sa- what I'm saying is what you're eventually going to get is you're going to have stuff for, let's say, one phone that gets really popular. Say the phone box takes off, it becomes popular just because, I don't know, they offer some gimmick that, that the Google one doesn't uh, offer. And then Google gets becomes a second one that's popular, but ZTE falls by the wayside just because it didn't pull in enough. Uh, and so that is that what you're saying, what I'm saying is the exact nature of the phone business to begin with. What, yeah. what I'm saying is, I can see ZTE what, becoming the most affordable one what, that the people that can't afford it will go to the ZTE one. Yeah, but and what I'm saying is, is that it just like video games, you're going to get stuff that's just for this phone that everybody's going to want. So you're not going to be able to get it on the other phone. You see what I'm saying? But if we take it like video games, one company might get exclusivity for a while. But for the most part, everybody winds up getting it at this current stage in the video game industry. For the most part. At you might just have to stage. wait. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, how that. many years? I mean, everything had to progress and change. There's certain right. business everything models that don't work. And everything would progress saying, and change. But what I'm arguing is that in, in the beginning, it has to be popular enough for it to actually catch on. And I, mean, I just don't see that happening. But me being the type of person beginning. that I am, if and the type of consumer that I am, if the Google one takes off and I just happen to have bought, you know, phone blocks, I'm just going to go get Google. Right, well... Right, and so and, and that's what I'm saying. Though, is that that I mean that is what you're saying. What you're arguing against I'm arguing, for, I'm, uh, is is the nature of the phone business anyway. But I'm arguing for the most basic consumer, the people who are are gonna. I'm gonna tell you right now, the most basic consumer isn't as basic as you think. I'm uh, yeah. I mean, no, they're not. The most basic, the most basic consumer, if you want to be technical in, in a smartphone industry, doesn't really exist. They're still going. They they, they go with a Metro PCS account, but they still want their Samsung phones. 
And now Samsung makes low-end phones. And they go with, you know, they want to go with T-Mobile and they want, you know, whatever phone. There's, there's different, there's different, uh, um, manufacturers for all these different companies to make mid, mid range, entry level, high range, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so at the end of the day, it's like, it doesn't matter if, if Google only has it. Google may have a cheaper version I'm of the phone. Arguing, to get the I'm just arguing the downside against three guys. So I'm just saying, I don't see it being, I see it being a gimmick more than it actually being something that's going to take off and we'll have three or four or five years down the road. You know, it sounds like a great idea. I, I want to play with it. But do I think it's going to become like a real thing? I don't see it being a big thing in like three or four years. It's just going to be a gimmick. And that's what it is because we already way. have smartphones. Look, for the most part, Jason and Hove, we all work that the phone wireless. industry, the wireless industry. People usually upgrade about every year. Some people early upgrade, they'll pay the extra money. But some people spend don't, the money. But some people, there actually more people don't upgrade because they need an upgrade. They because upgrade they for the name. They want it. They right. want it. You know how many people okay. waited online for but, the iPhone? Exactly. But 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 they they upgrade for the name of the product. So but do you see people upgrading just a modular piece? No, they're not going to upgrade. They have it. They never had that option. They're yeah. going to want to upgrade to the phone right. because it's cool I for have the to moment. Change, like if 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 I have a Note Four currently right now, this this at this moment. So if a few episodes ago we talked about that they talking about having an A10 processor, they're testing it out. I have the option to change the processor in my phone. No, I can't open it. Right, and that's 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 you as a techie, and that's great. What I'm saying is like the the, the like, average consumer. Yeah, but now you're giving me the option if they come out with a new processor for my phone, I can just go buy that new processor for my phone. So you, here's here's what I see happening in the, in this mobile, the potential. I see it as a space. gimmick. I, what I see happening is is that now you have. Samsung, where they can move into this mobile space and say, "Hey, um, you know, every every year we come out with a new phone. How about every year we come out with a new screen, or we coming out with a new, you know, a new process, That's or too we come much. out with new something? No, because you're making the components. All you got to do is make the components. But people aren't going to get excited. 3D screen on your phone. People aren't going to get excited about oh, it. Mean, how can, I can you say the that mass, people are not no, going to No, because get people excited. like techies will. Techies will get excited about a component and Dude, go and buy and, a new but component. But techies that's, run the industry. No, tech, techies do not run the industry. Okay, maybe techies run the industry behind the scenes, but they do not power the industry. You want your average consumer, the people who don't know anything about tech and just know that this is the newest thing and it's faster, to go out and buy it. Dude, as somebody and the way they do it is, it's like, oh, you have the Note 2, the Note 3, the Note 4, the Note 4S, whatever. People are always going to go buy the newest, hottest thing that's every, that everybody else has. That's exactly, exactly but the that's, point. But, when you, but once you have a phone that breaks down into, into modules, into components, no one's going to care about a component. But they want the whole how deal. Can you, that winning how can for you, me. How can you say that and, and that was never an option? You're acting like modular phones have been around for years. Hey bro, they bro, what screen okay. they yeah. came out on the shelf. Okay. And they, hold on, hold on. They came out on the shelf and people didn't adopt it. That's different than saying a new idea isn't going to work because it never existed but let before. Me, but let me shut it that, has to be. But let me shut that down right before you get started because uh, take it back to what Victor just told me about, oh, you build your own computer. And the only people who care about building your own computer and about the components that go into it and new components that come out are the techies. Nobody else in the mass market follows that. So, yes, for computers, you have to focus on the techies who because, are buying it. Because but, you don't, so, there, but there are two markets for computers. You have the techie field where they go and they buy new components as they update. And then you have Dell and HP and whatever else where they just sell you your blanket regular H, your regular uh, computer. And they might allow you to tweak this here and tweak that there, but you're not really tweaking anything <clears throat> like substantial. So much of the phones seem to have us a bit divided, I would say, at the least. It doesn't seem no, divided. It seems like not. it's me and then you three guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a geek, sir. Uh, so... What do you all think about modular phones? Personally, I say put it on the shelf. Let the consumer decide what they want. I mean, that, I mean that's the way kind of the industry is working in general. You, know, you got to put it on the shelf and let the consumer decide. What I they say want. it's fun. I want to play with it. But, but um, yeah, I mean, I just who knows? See it I mean, I, I know that Google's just uh, just starting putting into test uh, its test phases in Puerto Rico and stuff. So yes. we may see more about this coming up in the near future. I think it's still a long ways off, to be quite honest, personally. Um, but Write into us. Let us know what you think. Can I just say one more thing? One more thing. One more thing. No, no. One more thing besides one more thing. <laughs> sure. Why do they keep going everywhere else but New York for these tests? Well, the reason why. We're Google too, Fiber, we're Kansas. Too big, we're too big and demographic. Freaking no, no, but, but Google the Phone, why they, they go Puerto to Rico. PR. What the heck? But you know why? Because Puerto Rico got all the Latin America companies as well yeah, as all the U.S. Companies. I get it. It, it was, it was, so it it was a rhetorical question. To go to yeah. Puerto Rico. I mean, New York is too big a demographic. The question, the question was rhetorical. Yeah. But uh, so so let us know at uh, you know what you guys think about 
Mind your phones. Would you want one? Would you buy one? Would you go into the store and pick it up and buy it without knowing what it is? Not 100% what it was. Just know that it's uh, another phone that offers this great Google services or whatever you like. Um, as we continue, though, it is time for our mid-show toast. Uh, this week, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to give a, a nice little toast to the, the fine folks at, at Yingling. And uh, this week, we're drinking Black and Tan from Yingling, America's oldest brewery. One of the best. And so, uh, here's a toast to you all. Cheers. Sorry about the pee. <laughs> uh, so, I guess, since we're in a similar space of things, there's uh, been a lot of talk of PC gamers being the master world. Anyway, so PC gamers are, have been, been going around saying, you know, they're part of the master race and PC games, you know, with master race games and console peasants and such and such. <laughs> Um, I personally am a console gamer. I've spent a small time, if you will, uh, PC gaming fairly, fairly rigorously actually. But uh, for that small time, you know, it only lasted maybe a good strong year of solid PC gaming. Um, what do you guys think? PC gaming, Master Race? I don't know. I don't, I'm a console gamer. I but can't why? See, I don't know, man. I I can't see myself. Well, I know you could hook up a computer to a flat screen now running right. TV but I just can't see myself with a keyboard and mouse so going out I don't know I just never done it we use controllers I know but <laughs> we use controllers <laughs> well, we know where Dave stands <laughs> again it's going to be it's going to be the three of you guys against me I feel like I'm being teamed up on actually I, I you know if, if I could afford to be a PC gamer I totally would it's not that expensive it's you, expensive enough you, you drop more on a console than you do on a PC I yeah you, you uh, maybe at one solid purchase you might drop more no but my Possibly in, in certain circumstances, but my my PS4 will last maybe like four or five years before they come out with PS5. Oh, oh right. PS3 lasted ten years. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's gonna last me a while without right. me having to upgrade. Okay, so They're gonna constantly make right. games for that. Whereas you know, every year some new software might come out, and then I gotta upgrade this, or upgrade that, just to keep up with the gaming. All right, you know you've got I mean? you've got a wrong view of of PC gaming. You can build a decent. Computer have it last for like six years. Would not play good, all the games for six years. But not a good video card. I remember sure when you I used could. to work. When I used to work at an electronics store, I'm not going to say the names. I'm not going to give them any publicity or anything. That's right. But uh, fight the power. <laughs> unless they pay me to say their name, <laughs> but, but uh, they don't know who they are. So they know. <laughs> <laughs> but, Everybody but, uh, just know, you know, but, tweet us at a hundred proof geek. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody but, guess uh, where Victor used to work. <laughs> I remember that video cards. Are pretty pricey. No, especially right. if you want a good one. No, he, like here's True. the thing. I'm not saying that the, the hardware doesn't upgrade every year. It hell, it upgrades every couple of months. But you can get the best right now and still be able to play games for six years. You may not have the best. But you seem to keep the avoiding best, the best the price, stuff. The price point. The price point isn't even that ridiculous. If you're buying the, the desktop, point? I remember seeing video cards for three hundred dollars in the box. What's the price? Point? Well above three hundred. I've seen computers. I, I've spoken to a couple of people about getting it done for myself, where I can I could have done it myself, but to, to avoid all the guesswork required to put it, put together a PC, I was like, hey, you know, what would you, you know, what what components, what we're we looking at, what's a, a a brass tax number, and it came out to be six hundred dollars for an average computer that would last me four years, average. which heavy gaming, right? That's not that bad. I can buy a PS4 for four hundred yeah, dollars and last me ten years because my my PS3 has lasted me just about ten years, okay, and never have any issue. And all I have to do is purchase new games. Yeah, but here's the thing about playing with the with the with the with the consoles. You can't switch out parts of a console. Once well, you, I need to. You Actually, get I can stuff. switch out my hard drive and my PS4, and I can switch out the games, which they constantly improve game after game. Bazinga! They Hold constantly on. stay in your lane. Hold on. They constantly improve game after game on the PC, too. We get the exact same games you guys get. No, you don't. Except, here's the, here's the problem with the, with the games on the console. You don't get mods. You can't get extra content for your uh, for your games. You yes, can't play Skyrim. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. Hold on. You don't get Skyrim, and then you can play all the stuff that everybody's made for Skyrim and add extra stuff to the game. People have literally made, like, and I'm using Skyrim again, but they've done it for other games, lots of other games, where they've created hours and hours and hours of more content that was just... Created by some guy who hacked the code for, for If you want Skyrim. to be a developer, be a developer. No, I just what, want to be a gamer. What, but I don't have to develop anything. I get to download their stuff and I get to play but it. Yeah, but I'm saying the people, but you want to be able to play it. The people who's making these mods, 
they're they're improving on something that's already there. If you want to be a game developer and make your own games, make your own game. Right, and that's if I purchase the game and I'm playing it and I enjoy, it, I'm not talking about you as a player. I'm downloading the stuff and playing it. Exactly. I think I'm not making it. it. I think we're gonna have you guys sit next to each other anyway. That might that might have been, (laughs) but you know what I mean, like. The game is there. The, the the developer who initially made the game will come out with DLC. Oh, almost always for the most part. Yeah, but here's the here's and the I don't thing. have to do anything. I don't have to download. I don't have to do anything. Yeah, game. you do. You have to download the no, DLC. No, you buy it. You buy it. If you know you like, it, you buy the DLC. You buy and it. And you download, download it. it. Right. I don't I, gotta search for it. I don't have to do anything. It's right there. If I that's want, it. that's not true. I don't. That's not true. If I want, if I want, if I want, you don't have to Skyrim mod, so you can put. If I want a Skyrim mod, I go to Steam and I go to Community and I just download it. Okay, you don't have to look for it and download it. And if you want a DLC, you still have to go into the. I have two options. I have two options. Download it. I can either buy the DLC with the game when I first purchase it. I buy the season pass, and both or three, four, however many DLCs come with the game is readily accessible to me. I don't have to look for it. I already pre-purchased it. Or I can just go to the PlayStation Store. Or the Xbox One, you know. Whatever so here, here are some of the things. And just purchase here's it. It's some, not here are some of the things that you, you guys are kind of forgetting about PC gaming as a whole, though. First off, you're not going to all come together and squinch up in front of even the largest PC screen to play to play games and, and Who's squinching and enjoy up games. I, I, plug my, I used to plug my computer into my TV. And my you play TV by is like a, it's a 50-something screen. But I you mean, still play by yourself. Because uh, there's nobody else to play with, but if I wanted to, I could just plug in more controllers and I'd play with everybody. Most PC users play by themselves, by the way. I believe it. If I wanted to play with other people, I could ha- I could plug in more controllers into my into my computer and, and play a multiplayer game on my TV. So I mean, what's my the big deal? Wireless. I did. Ah, very true. I don't have Bluetooth in my computer. If I have Bluetooth in my computer, it'd be wireless too. Oh, but that costs more money. Stay in your lane. Oh, it's upstate money. I did. Here's the question for you. Do it too much. Yeah, you do question much. For you. You specifically for you. I really don't know because I never played PC gaming. How are the servers for the popular games that are on console? On servers, PCs? Are servers are good. Overall, the servers. Yeah, servers are better than actually. Uh, yeah. Overall, I'm gonna have to go with him on that. You just you just shut that one down. Right? You know, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm asking <laughs> a question. But I don't so, know. I think you know the other thing that to also keep in mind is that um, actually the service for a lot of uh, sorry Jay, service for a lot of PC games last a lot longer than a lot of console games because there are people still playing on PC they can, games they that, on their own. that have just, you know, gone by the wayside on console. That's the only plus that I see on PC gaming, the backward compatibility. Yeah, I mean, the, the, okay, so so here, here are some of the things that I kind of found with with, uh, with PC gaming. So there's, there's definitely the backwards compatibility component of that. There's the ability to always upgrade to the next best thing out there for you for PC if that's what you're looking for. Um, you know, so that, the, that there are like the two really big things. Um, some people say that, you know, with PCs, you can, if, if you have it hooked up enough, you can run most games at 100 frames per second and, you know, and never see, and never see a drop. Which is, which is fantastic. Why, why aren't you two like ripping on them right now? Because I'm saying what's good about. That's what I said. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get out I mean, of we, we, Oh, but who's supposed to yell at yeah, me? I, I'm just trying to say what's the good and bad of both real quick. And so those are some of the goods in the, uh, uh, of PC gaming. In addition to that, you also turn your PC into an actual computer. Now, with console Wait, gaming... Turn your PC into an actual... Well, your PC gaming console is actually a computer as well. Like you have oh, it okay, there as a computer. Yeah, okay. Now, now with, with, with consoles, you have ease of access. You have people who are not necessarily, let's say, mentally equipped to manage a PC game. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I mean, he, some of the, some of the components and updates. He's I mean, talking about. He's I was talking about you, but if he's still offended, I'm just saying because I was advocating on the council you, side. He's still offended. I'm throw some shots right now. He's talking about Call of Duty players. <laughs> I mean, that, that's definitely not me. Oh, it's not okay. But um, you know, it, it, it's definitely just kind of like the ease of access. You can pick it up, you can turn on the game, get everything going, and then you turn it off. You're done. You can walk away. Now uh, consoles have started to integrating started integrating uh, uh, web browsers, so now you have that as an option as well. Granted, it's not a computer, so you can't do a Word document. You can't do, you know, editing and things like that. But you, can, well, actually, on PS4 you can do some editing, and Xbox. Yeah. But anyway, you can't do large scale editing. So I mean, there are the goods and bads of, of both sides. The other thing is that without emulators and severe work, you're not going to get the exclusives. You're not going to get you got a war. You're not going to get Mario Kart. You're not going to get any of those things without emulators and, and things like that. In fact, there are no PS4 emulators that I'm aware of. In addition to that, there are no Xbox emulators that I'm aware of, as well as Nintendo Wii U, which I don't, I don't even think you could emulate if you want to. Uh, for the most part, why would you want to? I would do it for Brawl. I uh, mean, wow, well, Brawl. That's, that's a good one, though. Uh, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, the next Mario Party, because I love Mario Parties. 
part of your matter. Woo-hoo! You know, I definitely, I definitely agree that consoles have an exclusive exclusivity when it comes to some games because they only make it for console. And fine, I'll give you that. Destiny. But how many games? I, 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 I would like to hop on that with you, but I, I'm, I'm a little got a little south taste. You know, <laughs> how many, how many, how many games are starting to, uh, they're starting to turn it over to uh, console now that were originally for PC. A lot of indie games too that you're starting to see on P on PlayStation's uh, shop. Wait, wait, wait. To be fair <laughs> though, a lot of those indie games were on PC because PC was easy to develop for. There's no, there weren't many. Real rules or regulations. Well, what's, or to be, like that. what's to be fair? Then? And that's, that's the whole, and, and that's the whole beauty PS4, of having PC. And now PS4 and Xbox One or PCs or, or finally inside, of a, catch up. inside of a box. Okay, so they finally they've always up, been PCs call, inside of a box. They just no, dated well, PCs. Well, they're higher end PCs nowadays. Okay, but they're still dated, and that's that's what I don't understand is that consoles are just dated PCs. As a matter of fact, consoles are already behind the PC curve once they're released. You already have PCs way stronger by the time. Consoles Listen, released. When I get when I get my when I get my game and you get your game the same day, I come home my disc, I put it in my PS4, you put it in your computer. You have to install, go to the driver, check the this, the that, and the other thing. I plug in my game, I wait for it to install, maybe 15, 25 minutes, depending on your connection, which is fine by me. And actually my connection is pretty solid, so I don't have to worry about it. But it doesn't even take me that and much. My control anymore. is good to go. I play on Steam, I download my game, and I'm playing it. I don't even and, and if you have a decent if you have a decent internet like we do. It doesn't even take that long. You saw, I don't know. You saw, I'm sure it you takes the same amount of time it takes I'm you sure to download you saw a game. Check your drivers every once. I don't in have while to check my drive or every once in a while, but that, I'm doing that. On, I'm doing that regularly because it's my computer that I'm using anyway. But you see, this is where I prefer my consoles. I want to play. I want to play on Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and fight against Hove or Jay. It's easier. Not well, David because he does play on PC on console. Yeah, <laughs> I play. I have a PlayStation Three. Do you? I have your old PlayStation Three. I play. I play it. I play console. And if I had the money to buy a PlayStation Four, I'd I'd buy it. But PC gaming is where it's at for me. I, I just like it better. Okay. He, you ready for this, guys? So recently, you purchased the game on your for your PC, correct? Sleeping Dogs. Sleeping Dogs. Fantastic game. Everybody the raved about it. definitive. Uh, everybody raved issue. about it, right? Fantastic. So we got all the updates and the attachments and whatnot. Um, I do recall. Sitting next to you and watching you try to play, I was like, why does it look like that? And you told me, what did you tell me? My PC's old and I got it on the lowest setting. So you can't even fully enjoy it. Yeah, but if I had the money to update my PC right now, I, I would have it. You won't have that problem. But, but, okay, but, but my PC have that problem with PS4. But, but my, seat, but, but my, my PC, PS4 is update proof. In no. fact, games get better as as the console <laughs> life continues. Hold on, but that's but that's just it. I'm playing I'm playing it on PS3 like settings is what you don't understand. When you say why it looks like that, it's because I'm playing it on the console settings. Right, but if you're playing on PC, I'm automatically expecting to see Ultra HDs and whatnot. Like, I'm playing it on console settings, and my computer's running it fine. Uh, that's, you know, and that's the other thing. And my like, computer is, like, six years old. You know, that's the other thing that butters my toast. Oh. It, Without any updates. Butter toast butters. Butter, butter my toast. The other thing that butters my toast, though, is that when I played, when I was a PC gamer, uh, when I say PC gamer, I he was played a, on a laptop. I was a World of Warcraft fan, and I played on a laptop. A laptop. The laptop was in specific for gaming. I just want to say that's not a PC gamer. Just saying, it's not really. There are laptops. I played no, I, I know there are laptops. I played plenty of games. I'm not. PC. I'm not saying because of laptop. Right. I'm just saying World of Warcraft doesn't make him a PC gamer. That was one that I spent most time with. But I played plenty of other games, including Guild Wars, uh, Mas- uh, Masquerade. Does this make me a PC gamer? I played the Oregon Trail. Sure does, bro. <laughs> oh, no, you don't let him talk down to you. <laughs> but uh, and, and you know what ended up happening to me? Now, granted, I played on, on a laptop, so I couldn't upgrade anything if I wanted to. But even though it was a, a, a gaming laptop, what happened? World of Warcraft would update update their stuff on their end to give us a prettier experience. But once the prettier experience got down to me, my computer couldn't handle it, and so it wouldn't chug. But the computer said, "You're not gonna be able. To, you're not gonna see all the beautiful skies and the clouds." And every character has their own different powers and abilities, and some people make it rain, and so the water I comes down, and I, you, you got it a lot more than I did. My joint was no, like, no, no. I mean, like, here's a blue circle. That's water. No, no, no. I, I mean, I, I get that. I could play while no problem. At exactly. High, high and so, and so, I'm just understanding how you could. So, so my thing was, my thing is, is that with PS4 and PS3 and Xbox One and 360 and Wii and. The games only get better with the age of the console. Right. But and so while, hold on, hold on, while it is an, a, uh, 
an older system in comparison to any of the most up-to-date computers, which still costs a decent amount of money. We were looking at some of the origin computers. What were the price tags on those? Origin computers, though. I mean, right. that's not even. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's impressive. They're, they're in a but well. They're in, they're I think in. the laptop starts at like nineteen hundred. The laptop starts at nineteen hundred. Anyway, they make they you 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 tell them what you want on your computer, and they make it for you, and they specific. they really go in. And then they write handwritten notes per computer per specification. Anyway, um, my my games get better with the age of the console. And so that's the thing that I enjoy. That and I, PC I, games get better with the age. With, with, with not with the age of your computer. No, with, they, get, with every game, the game gets better. But if you don't keep your computer up to date, what happens? You you can't get those beautiful renders. No, if I don't keep my if I, if, I bought a, like if I bought a PC right now and I didn't keep it up to date, like I didn't keep my other computer up to date, I would be playing at the same level you are. So every time a new game release and you're saying, "Oh, it's so perfect and it's been upgraded so well," I'd be playing at the exact same level. So I don't understand I what your argument but for is for how long. You, you For the entire game, if, if, if you bought a computer, if you bought a computer that came out at the same time as the PS4 came out, just for example, same time the PS4 came out, I almost can guarantee you, oh, that our games will sorry about that, our games will look better for longer than yours will. Yep. Say, say it again. I can guarantee you. All right, so you go to the store, you buy. You're saying it, that you your graphics will look better if you bought a, a PS4 right now, and if I bought a computer no. right now, and the game. No, at the time of release, if you will have bought a PC computer. And I will have bought a PS4. Okay. My graphics and my gaming experience will be a lot better and a lot more enjoyable and smooth for a longer period of time than yours. Will. No, that's not true. But you're just going back on everything you just said because no, had it. I'm not. No, what I'm saying is, is that I bought a six year. I my computer is six years old right now, right? And as the six I just years recently progressed, look, did your on. gaming experience suffer? Hold on, I just recently bought Sleeping Dogs, which is a PS3 game. Okay, it was oh, it was a PS3 game. All right. I bought the definitive edition so I could play it like 1080p and blah 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 and blah 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 which blah. You blah. Cannot. Which I cannot. Thank you for jumping in every two seconds. <laughs> that, but right? that makes the point. But but, but the point is, you can no one can play. But unless you buy, unless but I bought the definitive edition, which I should go do and compare and put up some. But you're playing it on. Twitter. But you're playing it on the PlayStation Four. My 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 computer is not up to PlayStation Four standards. My it's play, my computer still is still on PS3 standards. 3? No, it's probably PS3 probably. You played it on PS3. I played it on. If I bought the PlayStation Three version, yeah, I played on three. If I, I mean, we're gonna have to look at some screenshots. If I bought the PlayStation Three version, it would play better than the PlayStation Three version. I think, but still, we're getting caught up on on on, on graphics. I don't think it's just the graphics. There's more to it than just the graphics. You know, computers have the potential because it is your personal computer. Anything can happen. Did we not experience that as a team where the main computer we used to record just went wonky and died on us? Right. So anything can happen to your computer I had while you're using it to download games, movies. TV shows, whatever else you're doing, you can catch a virus, something's going to happen to and it, and then you got to go through the whole process, and if you can, clean it. And I had an Xbox 360 for two years, and it got the red ring of death. Yeah, I have the same. I mean, that's you. I had an Xbox 360 right. for I mean, that's, a while. But but that's... But I had that, the original one. Me too. That, that's so... That's just... But that's that's a random argument. And my PS3, my PS3 is the first PS3 I ever purchased uh, a couple of months after they launched PS3. Right, but that's, not, years. But that's not a valid argument. Because you can have a PS3 from the very first day it started and still have one still working, or you could buy one and could die a year later. You can that's buy a brand new PS3 and have it die three years later. That's I exactly mean, the same argument though as a computer. Everybody who has a computer, you can purchase them at the same time. Doesn't mean that mine is gonna die and Jay's gonna die at the same time, or yours and Victor's you gonna die. Right, electronics. but you, it, it's a, right, it's but, a I'm not, but I'm not, but I'm not, both sides of the but spectrum. I'm not arguing trust in electronics. I'm saying that the quality does not diminish. Over time, when you use a PC, you're saying that the quality of the game diminishes over time no. because it's not going to look as good. What you're not understanding is is that the game that you're playing on the PS3 when it first comes out is only like that because the developers haven't used the full potential of whatever you're using, what whatever the, the the hardware setup for the console is, right? But by the end of the end of life of a console, developers have literally pushed that hardware as far as it possibly can go. On a PC, you don't have that issue. Whatever the max settings on the PC is, if you have a strong PC, you can play like that until the end of that, un- until you come up, un- until the end of that life. I mean, yeah, there's no... Technology, well, it's probably what Hov is trying to say. is probably, well, probably in a way, in a different way. As technology progresses, the develop, like software developers also, and yeah, like pretty, pretty much when to install Windows 95, whatever, it was only like 128 megabytes. Right. A certain amount of hard drive space. The requirements were yeah, but less. But, but here's, here's then the, the when the new game comes out, the requirements are higher. Right. Then what if your computer's not up to date? Then you can you could have 
but, but his, not good well, quality. But here's graphics. the thing. But here's the thing. When console when console players upgrade, they call it buying a new system. You buy in the next generation of the system. When PC gamers upgrade, they just upgrade a piece. Or a PC. A piece that could cost up to four five hundred dollars. Which is the same, same thing. Hey, but, but that four or five hundred but that four or five hundred dollar piece can last for the same amount of time as a console. Yeah, but that's why so I that's all I'm talking about. history less than ten years. It's the same thing. Bingo. Okay, and my computer is six years right now and it still plays PS3 level games. Plus, it plays games that are a little but bit higher it plays, than that. It plays PS3 level games six years later and we're on PS4. Okay, but I bought mine at the same time as a PS3. What I'm saying is, is that the quality of the the, 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 the tech that's in my computer, my, the hardware that's in my computer, you can say it's on the level as a PS3. I'm literally running a PS3 on my computer right now. And, and more to the point... So I just did an upgrade. I mean, you really didn't put the computer together yourself anyway. You I didn't say I did. Way. I didn't say I, I I put it together myself, but so, when I but when I when I picked out the pieces and I and I chose the what was going to go into it, that's what I chose. But did you know what you were choosing, or did you have a point of reference? What are you talking about a point of reference? You had an advisor, a yes. vizier. Well, again, a I'm vizier? not vizier. But, but, but what does that matter? <laughs> but what does that matter? So when I go to buy my PS4, I'm like, is this the one that I need with the 500 gigabyte hard drive? Does it terabyte one now? Cool, give me the terabyte one. I'm not worried about what's happening. I don't have to ask my friends, hey, is this going to be compatible? Because not every component is compatible with your computer first. Okay, so is this component going to be compatible? What software drivers do I need to make it work properly? You know, it's a whole process of up- upgrading your computer. In addition to that, Right, like but you're when I go to the store, I buy my PS4, bloop, take it off the shelf, three hundred dollars, four hundred, excuse me, four hundred dollars. I wish it was three hundred, four hundred dollars. You're arguing ease, though. But I mean, that's what makes PC gaming. But that's, that, I mean, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't make gaming but, some of the best. But that that doesn't make it better than than, than PC gaming. Exclusives make it better. You get exclusives. That's the only argument you can seriously argue that makes it better. Because PC, if you want better graphics, PC is better. Yeah, but again, if you want, I mean, if you want, if you want, that's the whole point of console in general. But you also have PC exclusives then, because you have games that are on PC that have never touched. Evil online. You have games on PC that have never touched console. Diablo's on PS4 now. So I mean, I mean, it's to say that. But to say all it takes is remapping. Diablo is on PS4 now. I mean, that's one game. All it takes is remapping. There are plenty of games that are on PC that you will never play on console. Well, everybody, I hate to, to let you all know, this is the episode where we're all going to end up killing each other at the end. So, episode nine might be the final episode. <laughs> I think uh, this might be the final episode. But before, I'm going to be sit in the corner. That's what I said is episode nine. Uh, but, but before we kill each other, <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to our next new segment. Uh, is it in the dictionary? Dave, take it away. I don't want to play with you jerks. Because right. <laughs> your PC controller is not compatible with my PS4. Exactly. Maybe my PC is better than all you guys. Well, maybe not. Uh, you guys. Maybe not my PC, but anyway. PC in general. So, is it in the dictionary? Tell us about it. All right. Uh, we're going to play a little game. We're going to call it, is it in the dictionary? I'm going to give you a word, and you got a guy. You guys got to guess if it's in the Oxford Dictionary. Wait, is it a word and a definition? No, just a word. Do I get a definition after? Maybe. We'll so see I how. get it in a sentence. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give you. Can you spell it? Can you spell it? I'm gonna, gonna give you my fist in a sentence. Yeah, you gotta I be able to spell, spell it for you. I'll I'll spell spell it. If the letter combination not looking right, you know, we, we might. Have I'll spell problems. it for you. I'll spell don't, it for you. Don't trust xylophone. Don't trust the letter. Oh yeah, don't trust it. <laughs> All right, so, xylophone in the dictionary. One point. So here we go. Oh, I'm gonna make a prediction. We'll just throw it out there. Guys, just taking this one too. Oh yeah. Just, I'm using anyway. I'm using the Oxford Dictionary. All right. I'm gonna ask you if it's in the dictionary. I'm gonna give you the word, and I'll spell it for you. You gotta let me know if it is or if it isn't in the dictionary. You gotta use it in a sentence. All right. All right. I'm not using it in a sentence. Hold let me pull up Google. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. But, and the, Victor, put the phone down. And the best part that makes this game so much inter- so much more interesting is that neither Hove, myself, or Victor can read to save our lives. <laughs> oh yes, I'm still working on it. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Did you guys ready? You understand? You got pictures? I can't read. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the words so you don't have to read it. There we go. Yeah, but uh, you guys ready? Get us the first one. All right. You just gotta say yes or no if it's in the dictionary. Nude. Nude. N O O B. It's in the Urban Dictionary. Is it in the Oxford Dictionary? Nude. N O O B. Yes. It, yes. It, it has. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Jay. Jay what do you say? Dictionary. I say yes. Oh, is in the dictionary. Just in case. Because N-O-O-B. he said yes. N O O B. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> yes. It's in there. Yeah. It's in the dictionary. It's in the Oxford Dictionary. It's a person. It's just in case. If you was wrong, I have to be right. That's not funny. It's a person who is inexperienced <laughs> in a particular sphere 
of act or activity, especially computing or the use of the internet. That's right. Okay. Well, that's right. You ready for oh, the second yeah. one? Number two. Shebang. Shebang. S H E Wale Wale. S H E B A N G. She bang. Shebang. Is it a dictionary? William Hung is pretty powerful. Is Shebang in the dictionary? She moved, she moved. All right, Jay, what do you think? She moved into the dictionary. (laughs) She did move. She did not move. She did not move. Shut up, Hove. (laughs) She did not move into the dictionary. Let me just catch the reflection so I can see. (laughs) Jay, what do you think? No. No? All right. Jose? I need you to follow the same suit. Oh, come on. (laughs) You guys are not fun. I'm going to say yes. We'll do it. All right, Victor? I'm going to go no. All right. Well, Jose got them this time. Yes? Shebang. Yeah, it's in the Oxford Dictionary. A matter... I told you William Hung is probably... A matter, operation, or set of circumstances. Yeah. Yeah, It was not because of Ricky Martin. So we literally have one point all around now. It's one, 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 one. One, one, one. Yeah. One, one, one. There you go. Uh, Bougie. Mm. Bougie. B O U. Say... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta wait your turn. B O U J E E. Bougie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. J. Is it in the dictionary? The, the word it is. We going by the word or the is that the correct spelling? No, it's by the word. <laughs> the spelling the word. is inconsequential. You just, yeah, the spelling is inconsequential. The word is in the dictionary. Bougie. What is that? Bougie. Um, uh, no, so wait, I said, wait, I said, wait, no, what does no, Jay say? Who's just not in the He said, yeah. He said, yeah, in the you, first sons of anarchy. He on, said, no. yeah, that is a vote. If you go you back on that vote, you me. meet Mr. Mayhem. You well, at the end of the show. Jay said, no, Jay said no before. No, it's not in the show. All right. Oh, I mean, uh, see that? Jose. But they're on the same team. That's not even fair. Jose, yes or no? Let's Bougie. Yeah. 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 Victor, bougie. I'm going to go against Jose. I'm going to go with no. <laughs> uh, bougie is not in the Oxford Dictionary. It's in the Urban Dictionary, a critical That's term used absolutely. to describe people. I need to write a letter. <laughs> so, I need so to write a letter. Who's noob? To I need, yeah, noob is in there. Noob is in there, yeah. Bougie, bougie, bougie is a lifestyle. And I looked up bougie. I looked up bougie. Noob in different, can be converted into a I looked player. up bougie Hopefully, different spellings. It's not in there at all. So, we got 2-1-1. Two, one, one. I mean, 2-1-2. Two, two. Sorry, Vic. 2-1-2. Uh, screwed is also. screwed in the dictionary. S C R E W E D. Screwed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I okay. think. No matter what, we get yep around the board. Yeah, right, Jay. What? What would you think? Yes, it is. All right. It might have a different uh, okay. definition than I think it does, but it, um, <laughs> definitely in it. It's definitely in Victor? it. I do, I'm gonna go with yes. All right. Screwed is in the Oxford Dictionary. It's a uh, in a difficult or hopeless situation, ruined or broken. Basically, you're screwed. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly how hopeless exactly it is. Exactly how I thought it was. All right, this Ooh. is the last one. Uh, we'll give two extra points for this one. Two extra points. All right, revengeance. 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 Or e v e n g e a n c e. So is it like you get revengeance again? Revengeance <laughs> is the word. It's right, the revisitation like in a sentence. I'm gonna say <laughs> the definition is the revisitation of vengeance. Jay. I would go Victor first. No, 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 no. no. So am I, going, so if it's not broke, don't fix it. It starts with you. Now, this is for two points. Jay, yes or no? Two is points. it in Oxford Dictionary? Revengeance. Revengeance. Reap my revengeance. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. You just go for it. Can I get it? It's not in the dictionary. All right. I'm going to say, uh uh-uh. uh. Ho says no. I'm going to be the oddball. I'm going to say yes. Oh, All right, Vic, right well, you're wrong. It's not in the dictionary. Bingo. It's a combination of the word revenge and vengeance. It's uh, in Urban Dictionary. Wait, so it's not in the dictionary? It's not. I said no, man. Yeah, you said no. You <laughs> said no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You get one point for that because you didn't remember what you said. You remember what you said. You lose a point for that. <laughs> Jay said no. Hope, Hope said no. Victor said yes. He renamed. Bingo! <laughs> Give one to the guys. I mean, to the geeks. To the geeks. To the guys. Oh, you guys are winning. How did that happen? I won. Oh, the most points. You was the one keeping the score. Of course you won. <laughs> no, no. J, J won. J won. Of course you would say that. You was part of the geeks. This is the worst. You, you, I'm not part of the geeks. He kicked me off the geeks earlier. Who did I kick you off the geeks? <laughs> when, when you and Ho were going at it. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. Oh, of course. I'm, just, I'm, talking to you I'm saying there's you three guys. And, and both topics. There's you three guys against me. Anyway, moving on to the next topic, the final topic, if you will. So I think something amazing has finally happened to us as as a human race. The most amazing, astonishing thing that could ever happen to us. Except not really. Drivable, rideable robots are real. 
They only cost one million dollars for a Mac, and you gotta buy it in Japan. So <laughs> it's it's the uh, Sui Dobashi, excuse my <laughs> excuse my Japanese, Heavy Industries, Kuratas. So pretty much, if we all get one, we could transform into Voltron. No, because we would still be missing. Yeah, that head. would be dope. Yeah. No, you know, you, he gets what you I'm saying. You still need the head. We had to find somebody. And that's <laughs> yeah. all we're missing. We got to find somebody. <laughs> that and five yeah, million dollars plus tax. What's some, what's tax on a million dollar <laughs> well, I feel like I feel like there shouldn't be no tax. I agree. They should just, just because like of the it. cool factor, it takes off the tax. You know what? This, you know what? When we go buy a robot, you don't literally hate. Hold the tax. So oh, no. I'm going to tell them to revisit episode eight at the end. Go all the way to the end. Just no tax. But this is episode nine. Oh, no. Nah, excuse me. Welcome to the future. Oh, the future's. If it happened already. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just want to know if the thing is street legal. I mean, they were, I, <laughs> well, I mean, the video, they was driving yeah, yeah, you could You can look this up. It is the S-U-I-D-O-B-A-S-I-H-I. I'd say Heavy uh, Industries. He's confusing me, and I watched the video with him, so we're just going <laughs> to tweet I, I out say, the link. Look, look, look. We're going to tweet out the link. This is what I've seen. This is what I've seen. You okay. seen? I, I seen. seen it. Yeah. Oh, we all in. How did he win? You seen? How did, he, how did he win? What was in the dictionary? Oh, I was oh, exactly. How did he win? You know what? <laughs> I'm a, that's, that's proof right there. He cheated. <laughs> what was happening the last he one? He seen. What I seen was. I was waiting for him to say yeah on revenge. They had they had this chick get into the, 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 press the button to get into the cockpit. Oh, and she climbs into the cockpit, and it, you know it's everything. A but cockpit that's smoking, for right? a mech should be. Well, why would you want to smoke in the cockpit? With no I fence? don't smoke, but ho, I smoke. You, you That's something. a deal breaker for me. You need, I, need, you need I needed to have a vent or something. And this is why we can't build Voltron. Because he needs to That's smoke. why we can't have anything else. Oh, make me the head, and then we get somebody to fill it down the spot. Because if you see the head, doesn't mean that you get... Oh, and it goes straight to the top. My smoke is not going to anybody else's cabin. I think at some point, they all... Never mind. I know, but... I, Jose, this is why we can't have anything nice. I'm what? sorry. Uh, it, 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 does, it does only cost a million bucks. Only? Uh, it has no tax. It has water missiles that will never hit a target, or <laughs> rarely will hit a target. Almost never. Watch the video. Please. Now, <laughs> <laughs> almost never. Now it does have two crazy cool things. So the first one is is that it has automated uh, detection uh, when it's on the mini gun section. So it does have a mini gun section, and oh, so it will no. actually track a target. No, nope, yes, it will. If, if you're you a psycho killer, that is definitely for oh, you. No, it shoots BBs. Right. Yeah, you gotta be mentally psychotic to smile when someone else. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's how that's how you shoot it. So when you smile, it shoots the BBs on the track target because it does track the target, which is which is pretty awesome. bananas. I think you just you're not looking in at, at this with the right set of eyes. See what I don't understand. What, what I don't understand is <laughs> what I don't understand is if it can track the target. Right. And if I smile, it knows when I smile. There's nothing on my face right. that's tracking my smile. Okay, sense my smile and start shooting. Right. Why can't it hit a target with a water? Oh, no, no, the BBs will hit. The I know this not going to hit. But but if it can track my target, if the target is moving and it's, it's not tracking it with the water the missile, it's only for the BBs. I know. But if they could do that for BBs. Because then you Give would me put, the water missiles. No, I want the water missiles. missiles. You would put a real for missile. Million I would. Dollars. That's why I wanted <laughs> to hit the target. Yes. For me, Dallas. And that, see, that's why so Americans if, can't have If robots. I drop 1.5, uh, can I hit at least 1 out of 5? No, because, no, no, no. no. That's why Americans can't have robots. We can't have the Voltron even if we get a fifth person. No, I'm not buying it. blow stuff up. Yeah, I don't, well, first of all, if I could afford 1, I'm sure I could afford 5, I'd get 5. No, no, no. I want to save the target because you know what? When we get into a water fight, I want to win. I'm in the cockpit. So what? But I There's got to be separate rules if we all got a mech suit. There's <laughs> different rules. <laughs> but you're going to miss you anyway, so what does it matter? He's not going to hit the target. We, we can accurate. just get a, oh, a lot of missiles. You, if, if you get somebody to mod your 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 uh, robot, that's not that's cheating. Hmm. That's cheating. So let's not, let's not do that. Right? Wait, so the question was going to be, right. would you buy it? I guess we all agree we totally would so, buy it if we had well, a million dollars. Well, actually, my question is, in, in lieu of purchasing this $1 million robot, which we will, um, at the end of the video, they said some disturbing <laughs> things. Um, if the robot t- uh, mech suit tipped over, uh, quickly climb out of the cockpit, <laughs> uh, or if you smell f- something funny, quickly climb out of the cockpit. Shortly after the person in the video climbs out of the cockpit, the animation explodes. <laughs> yes. Um... Million dollars? Is it like some kind of 
ninety day policy if it explodes. <laughs> What's the insurance on that? I'm concerned. Oh, the insurance claim got to be deductible on that. Got to be. <clears throat> yeah, they gotta, you got to get one free. You got to get one free. It exploded. But you also <laughs> tipped it over, and they told oh, you. I what, didn't tip it over. They told you what would happen in the event of it. But, tipping I didn't, over. but they didn't tell me how to tip it over or they how not to tip it over. Oh, but it's, see, that's what I'm not. I'm just saying, if you get into a car accident, your car doesn't explode. Cars are actually built not to explode, so in the movies, overall, it's pretty fake when they do explode. So, cars don't explode. But they do go on fire. Not always. But it's possible. And it's actually, like I said, um, the more, than, like, the newer cars are actually built not to catch fire. Intentionally not to catch fire. I, um, I see this. But the, so, so I mean, but there's always a car there where you say, hey, this is my car. Can you please paint it or something? Oh, your car goes on fire. You're going to do if a your lot car more painting. You're going to do a lot more than painting. <laughs> you got a good mechanic. You just got to paint it. It's all done. That's a good mechanic right I'm there. I'm just saying, if my robot explodes, what am I going to do? Gather all the pieces? No, you know, it's like, it? it's like Grand Theft Auto. You drive right through the little, uh, ah. and they fix your car up as soon as you That's drive right. through. It goes, <laughs> and then you're done. Oh. There you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's been another great episode of 100 Proof Geek. You can check us out at 100 Proof Geek on Twitter and Instagram. 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 That's for the grandmoms. The it's Download the that app right it's there. It's the Gams. The Gam Gams. That's the, 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 the grandma. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were on such a good start to close the show out. 100 Proof Geek can be found on uh, Instagram and Twitter at 100 Proof Geek. You can also join the 100 Proof Geek uh, Facebook community. And if you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions, reach us out at uh, Gmail, 100 Proof Geek at gmail.com. Wow. We're also on Google Plus. Victor threw me off. He was sign languaging me. Oh, he was miming you. Just but like, I'm not I added the monkey. Plus. I can't read sign language. So <laughs> oh, Google Plus. Google, yeah, so we're also 100 Proof Geek on Google Plus if you weren't sure. Um, check us out. Thoughts, likes, suggestions. Uh, See you next week. Actually, no. As we close the show out, Jose, you were the winner of last week's contest. If we would, uh, if you would, and so you get to divvy out who's purchasing the beer for next week's show. I would just like to say, guys, won as a whole. We are a unit. We won last week, but you lost this week because you cheated. I was getting <laughs> to that. I you cheated. There needs to be a fifth wheel here that does the scoring. Fifth wheel for scoring. Just for the scoring. Something has to happen. We need a slap bet. How would one wheel we score? We need a slap bet referee. I'm not sure. Oh. Depends on the game. Slap bet. Gotcha. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you definitely cheated. Uh, so, I'm going to say my, my teammate, since we feel bad, you know, we cheated. Well, you cheated. <laughs> See, we, we did cheat. No, we cheated. Cheated. I think I, 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 I confess we did cheat. We did cheat. I have the fifth. Technically, you cheated. Well, I'm guessing I'm picking. No. One of us. Oh, no. We played the odds. So, I'm going to pick Victor, <laughs> play the odds, and hopefully he comes up with some good beer for us next week. Well, actually, let's see uh, if we get any listeners to uh, write into us. What recommendation, recommendations, <laughs> suggestions, and thoughts we just moved you to would the like South, to put people. out? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm trying. Would you uh, Would you like to see, uh, well, I guess, hear us drink during next week's show? Send us at uh, you know all those other social networking sites I mentioned earlier. <laughs> <laughs>